Hey YouTube, we're down at our uh, homestead, the Beaver Creek Homestead, down here in Southern Ozarks in Missouri. This is my spring setup here. This is an IBC tote. I've got a line hook to it. I covered it with this silver bubble wrap. Just to keep the moss out and kind of keep it from freezing. It runs year round, so I got hose coming in and it feeds into the top here. Springs up here. Just show you my setup. We just got it working so far. It works pretty good so far. I've got to develop this spring better. It's the only thing that come just trickles out. You know, but it trickles year round. And uh, there you go. You just got that's a two inch pipe with uh, three quarters packs going all the way down the hill. I'm thinking about running one inch down there, maybe give it more pressure. This is just hooked together, but there's uh, let it run out a little bit. This run pretty good actually. For what it runs but you know it don't seem like much water but it fills that tank in a, oh, three or four hours so oops, hit the wrong button there but yeah so we'll go down this is way up on one hill and then I tank this to a tank on the other hill and then from there it goes down to our little shoust. I got to bury this line too, I know. But I think as long as water's constantly running through it, I've never had no problem yet. Uh, up in mid-Missouri where I'm living now, I've seen it get down to 20 below one time. So I figure if it did it once, Mother Nature can do what it wants to anywhere at once, I guess. Uh, so we'll go down the hill and I'll show you the setup down there. Oh, and it's several hundred yards. I don't know. It's probably about a thousand yards that this thing runs. So I'm thinking, so I'm thinking get a one inch pipe and run down. At least most of the way down the hill down there. So, we'll show you when we get down there. Okay, on the way down, I decided to stop and show you the progress on my pallet cabin. Uh, it's still sitting here. And the sad thing is, there ain't no progress. Probably this spring. I'll get to showing you a little more, but I don't know if you can see my little creek down there. You have pretty good, it's not real far to the other hill right there, and it goes up, but I clear a little bit of this brush out. It'll, it'll be nice sitting out there, sipping on a lemonade or a iced tea. Just watching the creek in the woods. All right, we'll go on down. Okay, we're down here at the bottom of the hill. My trailer and my outdoor shower, which we're not taking showers this time of year out here. Um, anyway, the hose comes all the way down the hill. Switch from blue to red. <laughs> Don't make no difference to me, but. Anyway, we got a hose. I don't know if you can see that hose over there. It goes up on that hill over there. So, well, over there and I'll show you. Okay, and here's the shoust. Well, it's a shed house. Got an apartment in that one end he's living in. We got wood heat to heat it and Heats his hot water with the wood stove. It's got a little uh, 
coil he made out of copper and put on the back behind the shroud of the stove and that heats it up. There's his little greenhouse he got done. And up there, that white, that's a big tank up there. So we'll go up there and I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, we did the same thing here with this tank, big round plastic tank. He built a little box and has it insulated. That's where the filter and shutoff valve and all that comes out. Up there, right here is an overflow I gotta put in. Otherwise it dumps right down this. Uh, now here's the hose that comes up the hill. And see if we can get a view of Way over on that other hill over there, uh, back this way is where the spring is. So it comes quite a way. I'd say it's over a thousand feet, but that's the water running out from there. Don't get much pressure over here, but let's see, we're pretty high up. Let me tilt this up straight. It, on this, it don't look like it's very far down, but we're probably twice as high as that top of that shed. So, you don't have the best pressure in the world, but quite a bit. So we're going to put this hose in the top, put some more silver stuff on top, and put the lid on. Keep everything out. And it's been keeping the tank full, though. We've had some pretty cold weather so far, so uh, excuse me from waving the camera around. But anyway, that's our water situation, but we seem to be able to get it to work. So he's got some kind of clog right now in a filter or something. We're going to have to clean the filters and go from there that he's got a trickle in there at least he's he can flush his toilet and wash dishes and stuff but it's kind of hard to take a shower so we're gonna have to get it running all right youtube don't forget to like subscribe and share we'll see you next time and god bless